TNTM The Show presents... The July Recap with your hosts... Pablo Gunner. Slay J. Marvin Goof. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about... SummerSlam. Have you watched SummerSlam? No. I'm just kidding. Tell me about <laughs> SummerSlam. SummerSlam hasn't happened yet, but it, it will uh, by the time this video is out. Oh, will it? Uh, so, SummerSlam is WWE's, like, midsummer Super Bowl. Yeah. You want to call it? Mid-season mid -season finale, I guess? Oh, or what, I don't know what you mm -hmm. want to consider that. But there's some great matches. Um, LA Knight versus Logan Paul for the United States Championship. Which I can't wait because Logan Paul has only defended that title twice in the past six months. And he needs to give it up. He needs to give it to L.A. Knight. He's an up-and-coming megastar. So he, he's been refusing to put his title on the line. Oh. Which mm. he does randomly come and wrestle and then randomly doesn't. Like he had, he's been doing a lot of Mr. B stuff. I don't, I don't know if you keep up with this guy. You probably don't. But, um... Only because I started watching some Mr. B stuff, I saw him on there. So it's like he's just too busy for for that. He's a great wrestler, great performer, good athlete. Mm -hmm. So is his brother. Um, but I understand why they get so much hate, because they're, they're tool bags. So. Yeah, they deserve it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what is the bloodline calling Roman Reigns out for? So what they did was after WrestleMania, after Cody beat Roman Reigns for the... Uh, undisputed Universal WWE Championship. It's just the undisputed WWE Championship now. After that happened, it's like Roman kind of took some time off to go act. He, he was doing some acting and stuff. Oh. What they set up was they they had the bloodline going on, and then Solo Sequoia was the was the enforcer, and he kind of took over. And now he's creating a whole new group of bloodline. They kicked out Paul Heyman. They threw him through a table. Nice. Uh, you know, oh, it's, wow. you know the, all the stuff that you go to wrestling for, right? You want to mm -hmm. see somebody thrown through the announce table. So they're setting up, like, okay, like, Solo started his whole new blood, bloodline where it has people from AEW, like Jason Fatu, um, Jacob Fatu, sorry, and then the Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa, which were, like, indie wrestlers, and they're, they're, they're great. They're great wrestlers, great performers, and they're, they're doing this cool... Thing. Okay, so he's like, now I'm the new tribal chief, and if Roman Reigns has something he wants to say about it, then he can come step up. Nice. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, now they're, they're starting the whole Roman Reigns as the face now, where he's going to be a fan favorite, which he's starting to get that way, because he's, he's great on the mic, like he's a good wrestler too, so I'm excited for that stuff and see what they're going to do uh, for that, and then... Uh, just so many, so many things like up and coming wrestlers like Braun Breaker, which is like uh, Scott Steiner's son or grandson, mm. and he's he's a beast. <laughs> Dude can run like twenty three miles per. It's like having a big stocky Tyree Kill run in the ring, Jeez. and he can spear people like in half. You know, if you guys remember uh, Ryback, what was his name? Oh. Or Rhino? Rhino? Okay, yeah, Rhino. Rhino. That, that, the guy that used to gore people. So it's like more of like the intense spear, so. Nice. That's great. Yeah. So that's awesome, Wrestling dude. nerds out there, this is for you guys. <laughs> awesome. Probably going to see a lot of Ninja Turtles stuff. Yeah, Ninja Turtles merch from us. Yeah, so yeah. keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's it for us.